the cross of Calvary. And it just takes a simple look of faith. And then all your sins will be forgiven. The power of sin will be broken in your life. New life, spiritual life, eternal life, the very life of God will be transferred into your life. And here is a chance for you today. Number one, to get saved. Number two, to get healed. That the moment you say, yes, I believe. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He's my Savior. He's the uplifted one. And I'm looking at him and looking upon him by faith right now. All those your sicknesses will be taken away. And tonight is that night. A night of salvation. A night of healing. A night of miracle. A night of signs and wonders in your life. The moment you look on the Lord Jesus Christ. And there it says, whosoever whosoever that means all over here today whosoever will take that step of faith and say yes lord i'm the one that jesus died for and i'm looking on the lord jesus christ by faith at this very moment that salvation will come to you that healing will come to you and the touch of the lord will be upon your right there in jesus name it's bowed and eyes closed. We need now to put our conviction into action. We need to put our conviction into action. It's bowed and eyes closed. You are that whosoever. And the Lord has come to liberate you, liberate you from sin, and liberate you from the consequence of sin. And right now, as you have seen that Jesus Christ has been lifted up, if you are going to come to Christ, and you are going to allow the Almighty God to take away your sin, and the calamities and the consequences of sin, wherever you are, just raise up your hand, I'll be praying with you. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. You are that, whosoever, whosoever, whosoever. And the Lord wants to come to you now with his forgiving grace, with his salvation. Wherever you are, can you just raise up your hand? If you are raising up your hand, can you identify yourself by standing up? Thank you very much. You stand up. Say, yes, I need that salvation of the Lord. I need that forgiveness of the Lord. I'm waiting for you. Stand up wherever you are. Thank you very much. If you're standing up because you want the salvation of the Lord, the forgiveness of the Lord, you will leave where you are and come from, to the front of the pavilion where you are. You stand up. You walk to the front of the pavilion where you are. Do that quickly. We're praying together. I'm waiting for you. Stand up. And you come to the front of the pavilion where you are. The Spirit of God is knocking at the door of your heart right now and is saying, Come. That's how those people came to the Lord as they came to Moses. They confessed their sins and they turned away from those sins, promising the Lord, We'll not do that anymore. And that's exactly what you have to do now. Stay where you are now. I'll be praying for you. All those who are staying in the front of all those pavilions, and those who might be staying back there because you do not have uh, the strength or the ability to be able to walk down, just where you are, you lay one hand on your chest, and you raise up the other hand. And then you are sincerely telling the Lord, Lord, I know I have sinned. I know I have done evil. I see the consequence of that in my life. And I come to you right now. I pray that you forgive me. And give me your grace and your spiritual strength. Not to continue in that way of evil anymore. Grant me the victorious righteous life. I believe that Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. And because he died for me, 
He forgives me now. Thank you, Lord. I know my sins are forgiven. In Jesus' name I pray. And the people of God said, Amen. Close your eyes as I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you because you have called upon us to look up unto you. And all these people have come now, coming to you. They realize they have seen. And what they see in their lives as calamity, as problem. These are the consequences of sin. And they're coming to you that you will forgive them. In your mercy and love, forgive every one of them in Jesus' name. You have promised everyone that comes salvation. And I pray, Lord, you grant them your salvation now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, at this very time, the burden of sin, the judgment of sin, the oppression of sin will be taken away from their lives. Search them free from those bondages of sin in Jesus' name. Confirm in their hearts that their sins are forgiven that things are going to be different even from now on. Let your spirit bear witness with their hearts that now their sins are forgiven, they are saved, and their children of God. Confirm it, O oh Lord. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Every Lord, for our deliverance, everyone tonight, whatever problem you have, the Lord will touch you at the point of your need. If you, you identify, locate where the sickness is in your body. You have any swelling? You have any pain in your body? Or you have blindness? Or you brought anyone deaf and dumb? Or you are lame, you are in a wheelchair. I'm going to pray for you now. Remember, everyone that looked up to that brazen serpent in the story I read to you, everyone was healed. And everyone tonight here, as we look up to the Lord, everyone, the Lord will touch you. And when you hear that final, Amen, the work is done. Then you check up yourself. And you will see that a mighty miracle has taken place in your life. You need a miracle, you need a healing, you raise up one hand and lay the other hand where you have the problem. And that miracle healing deliverance is coming your way right now. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come like you have invited us to come. We know you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. That you are God, you cannot change, you have not changed. Lord Jesus, we glorify you. You have been lifted up, and we lift you up again for the people to see. And we know that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you are still in the business of working miracles and wonders in the lives of all that call upon you. Spirit of the living God, we know you are here already. We know and feel and sense your presence. Lord Almighty, as we come to you now, we're asking that all these people that are raising up their hands, they need a touch, they need a miracle. They need a healing, they need a deliverance. Give it to everyone right now, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, where there is any pain, any sickness, any infirmity, send out your power upon everyone now. Deliver them in Jesus' name. The swelling in your body, whether it's in the head or in the neck, like a big goiter, or in your tummy like tumor, whatever it is, or your legs, anywhere, I command that swelling now, 
come out in Jesus name the issue of blood I pray right now the mighty hand of the Lord will touch you and that blood will dry up in Jesus name all those afflictions and evil powers evil spirit moving about in your body from your head to different parts of your body I release you now and set you free Lord I pray you break the yoke in every life in Jesus name incurable diseases in your body HIV AIDS or cancer or tuberculosis or any other sickness in your body I pray now in the name of the Lord in the power in the anointing of the Holy Ghost I pray be healed in Jesus name those who are deaf and dumb I send the mighty power of God to you right now those dumb tongues deaf ears be opened now in Jesus name and those who have any blindness there whatever is the root cause of that blindness I pray that the hand of the Lord will touch your eyes those blind eyes be opened in Jesus name those who are lame, you are paralyzed, either your hands are withered and weak, the legs are withered and weak. I pray that the strength of the Almighty God will touch every joint, will touch your bone, will touch your system. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. All over this stadium at this time right now, I pray, Lord, descend in your mighty power. Send your healing power set your people free that lord there'll be miracle everywhere healing everywhere deliverance everywhere confirm that miracle right now in jesus name lord i thank you because i know it is done in jesus name we pray amen the miracle is there already what you will do now is to check up yourself and you will do what you could not do before if you had any swelling in your body before you'll check up you'll find it's gone if you brought anyone deaf or dumb speak to them and they'll be able to respond to you now you have any infirmity, any sickness, any pain in your body where you are suffering, check up, it's gone. And as you discover that it's gone, you make us to know about it. Just say praise the Lord where you are, and then we're going to rejoice together with you. Check it up. Don't go yet. Check it up. God's miracle power is there. And as you see what has happened, then you say, praise the Lord, and then we'll rejoice with you.